Welcome back. In this video, we are continuing the process of user registration. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, I'm inside my back end folder here and we're going to work inside the controller. So click on controllers and then users. And then here, let's implement the real logic of user registration. So before you register a user, first you need a model because somewhere I'm going to save something database. So let's require the model that we registered we did in the previous video. So if you don't have the auto, if you cannot have the auto import, let me give you a nice trick. So go to the model again, the file, and then save again. And this time around, let's try the auto import, and I believe it's gonna work. There we go. That's a nice trick. Cool. So now on this user model, I'm going to create an instance of our model. So inside the controller for now, let's remove this. And because you want to talk to external or database, we need to handle the promises using the async course, right? So because I don't want to use callback here, dot then and whatever, I'm going to mark my function as an async async like that and before so because of this i'll bring in try and catch if there has to be any errors so here comes my logic so first before you register a user you need to check if the user exists right so so let's check here check if user exists all right so const const is equal to user exist is equal to await and then our model and then here you want to find one okay this method for mongoose so find one fix your query criteria so find one what do you want to find you want to find the user by email right so if email is equal to email i'll come back to that so if the email is found here all what we need is we need to return some error so you can get the email coming back from the request body so rec dot dot body dot email so i'll explain to you how we access the request body from here so if the user exists right so if user exists if user exists then it means that we need to throw some error right so from here let's just return let's send something to the user okay for now i'll come back to the error handling later on so rest.json let's call this one user exist okay so otherwise, if the user does not is not exist, then what we need, we need to register the user, right? So here, um, we, ca we can get information from the request body, from the request on the body, right? So here, let's destructure everything from here, what we want. So let's quickly do that. So cons, then let's destructure what is coming back from the body, from as rec dot body all right but with the early version of um what we call it um, javascript we have what is called optional chaining right so optional chaining help us to avoid what is called the end operator so for example this one if you make use of let's say on the request if there's a request and there is some body on it then grab what i want right so this one takes a way to simplify that so instead of because of uh, before this is like this so if there is request and then request dot body so assuming that we have nested uh, properties in an object or let's use n n n operator but this is because of one level it's easy to do this right so to avoid that we have what is called optional chaining. So we bring question mark dot and the next property. 
So here, what we need is an email because if you want to register, provide email. You want your first name, okay? You want first name, you also need last name, and then you also need your password. Password like that. So here, because we have the email here, if the name and the property are the same, let's remove one. Okay, so here, now let's register the user. Cool. So const, let's call this one user is equal to await and let's use user dot create and this create is the object you want to create and here we can pass in all the properties we need as you can see from top nine that's giving me all the properties I need I want to put email first name last name and password so if everything goes on well let me send some let me send to the user rest.json but for now let's send some status code 200 okay and then then we can send the actual response okay so if you want to know the um, status code let's go to google and then because you don't memorize all these things so let's go to google and then let's search for http status code http status code status code okay as a guide so let's send it and then let's wait okay i think i'll show it later on so let's move let's go on okay so now if something goes wrong let's send rest.json and let's send the error like that so with this Let's go ahead and then register the user. So I changed the theme from the previous video. If you want to change the theme, come here, settings, and then theme, and then you can select that or like theme. So how can we send a request from Postman? Okay, so let me have some space here. And as you can see here, here we have what's called a body, right? And the body, we can send all these kinds of data, form data or URL encoded. But for now, let's send raw data. And then if you click on that, click on this drop down icon and select JSON. We want to send JSON to the to the server. And here, this is how we send. Provide some object here and the property all must be in code. So email here. And then the email is where provide email as let's say um, ben at gmail.com. And then next is you want to send the first name. First name is also, let me call this one Ben. And then last name also gonna be, let me call this one Do. And then let me send the password. And the password is gonna be one, two, three, four. It's a string, right? Provide one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we have we are going to send this one to the server. So let's check it out. When I click on send, you can see that there is no response. Socket hang out. Let's check our server. It says that crash cannot destructure property of email as undefined. The problem is that, <coughs> sorry, Express is not allowing us to pass this request to the server. By default, Express don't give us that functionality, right? So unless, <coughs> sorry, we tell Express that, hey, Express, we want to send some data. So try to receive it, okay? And Express said, okay. So without doing that, Express is angry at us. So just hang out. So how can we avoid or tell Express to pass the incoming request you want to send to the server. So let's go back to code. And then inside the app, make sure you are inside the app. We're going to pass in one more middleware to pass the incoming request. So here, let's label something here and call this one middlewares. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna use is called app.use again. And this time around, we want to tell Express to pass in incoming request. So express.json, like that. So with the 
current version of Express, you don't need to install any third party package called Body Parasite. It is built in. So with this line of code, now if you go back to Postman and then let's send again. Let's wait. Now something has happened. We have the user being created, right? So now we have a, a property called ID. It means that we have saved this user inside our DB. So if I try to um, send again, I'm going to receive an error. So here, check it out. User exists, right? Because this user has been already been what you registered. So the next video, you go inside our DB and then you find this user being created.